So my DIY this Wednesday um, is showing you how to do these biodegradable boxes for your garden. Just throw your tomato seeds, your green pepper seeds, any seeds you have in there, fill them up and you're ready to put them right like this in your garden. They're made from newspaper. I don't know if you ever did origami as a kid, but basically they're origami boxes. So let me start by telling you, you need newspaper. Any kind of flyer newspaper you get, save them. You need a ruler and a pen. And the reason being is that for every, um, for every, for the width, like say this is um, a width, it's 10 inches. This one is 10 inches. You need one and a half the amount in the length. It has to be perfect. If you don't do it like that, you will never get the boxes to come out like these boxes. So let me tell you. So what I do, I take my ruler and I measure down, um, where is it? 10 inches. I do 10 inches because the paper is 10 inches wide. And then I do another 10 inches to make it 20 inches, right? And then I just um, line it up. You don't have to be fancy. And I just tear this off. Oops, sometimes it doesn't come off as straight as I want it. Anyway, so to make this first size box, you will make this size, see? All I do, I do my first fold, fold it that whole length of that paper. So the whole 20 inches, I fold it into 10 inches, right? Fold it up, first thing, turn it on sideways and fold it one more time. That's what it's like, one more time. Open it up, and I don't know if you remember making airplanes back in the day in school. You make it like an airplane, so you bring one side in like that, and the next side in like this. And then, we did that, we did that. You take the first flap here and you turn it down once right to this little mark at the bottom, right to where we did the bottom of the airplane. You turn it down there and then you fold it over even one more time, right? Do it really nice and tight. I try to do them as nice and tight, then it, the box come out neater. Then you turn it over and you fold in the first side to the center. So the center is like this little point here. So you can see that little point there. You fold the first side into that center and you fold the next side into that center as well. So it would look something like this, see? And then, see you have two, um, you have it open, all opened up. You take just after you do it center, you take this side and fold it down once again to that little flap that was there. See the little flap here, right? And then you fold it down one more time. See? See, so it looks like this now. That's the one side and that's the next side. Then you take this little flap, you open it back up and this little flap you had, you take it and you tuck it in here. It's not that easy to tuck it in. Just try your best and push it behind um all the stuff that's in there it has to be nice and neat you can see inside and just try to tuck this back in so it's all nice and neat so after i tuck that in i flatten it again and i just flatten it out like that right then you turn it over and you bend this little point here into here and flatten that like that everything you do you try to flatten it as much as it could with your fingers then you turn it over. So I turn it over to this side. This was the side I flattened this one over. Turn it over to this side. And I flatten it again here. And then I turn it over one more time. And I bring um, this little point here. See the point? This little point. I bring it to the corner here. To this corner. So I take it and I bring it here. And when I bring it here like that, about an inch of it, I flatten with my finger. See, I flatten it with my finger, about an inch. That's going to form the bottom of the um, box like that. And then I open the um, little box. And see that part that I flatten? It went straight into the corner there. See, it went straight into the corner. 
that's one of the um boxes i do and this little one is because i did an even smaller sheet of paper see how narrow that paper is it really is um only eight inches so because this is eight inches this way the width i have to do eight inches for the length so once again i do the exact same thing i did before i mark it i just do eight then i come back from here it could be 16 inches it's supposed to be 16 inches and i did eight so you could do 12 and whatever 12 and six but i did eight and eight 16 and then when i when i get my little mark there i just put the um ruler down and tear it off doesn't have to be fancy and then again i go in half i'm just showing you how to do one more of these i go in half again i smooth it out it's exactly how i did this last box is how i'm gonna do this one i smooth it out i fold it in half fold it in half again i come to the top which is a piece that i folded see it's a piece i folded you could watch these videos a couple times this video a couple times just to get the hang of it it took me a little while it's because they were not not saying on the videos that it has to be one and a half most of them i looked and didn't say one and a half so i formed the airplane again see the airplane and after i formed the airplane i take this first one and i go down one I love to collect everything that I can recycle and newspaper is one of them. Sometimes I have to throw it out because my husband gets mad that I have so much junk in the house. So I have to throw it out, but I like to sneak stuff and hide them so he doesn't know. So I did that one down again. And when I finish, I turned it over. See, to this side. This is how it looks. You'll see this little piece here on the next side. And I bring it again back into the center again. Bring these two back into the center. See? as simple as that see this is how it looks and then i fold half down to come right back to that where i just did those two little flaps see i fold half down here do it nice and thick do it one more time just to get the idea see how squared off it is nice and easy and then I just tuck it in here and that's it right it's so easy then you turn it over right with the one that have the little cut in the middle and you bring that in and you do a nice tight push down push it down tight 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 see the little point push it down bring the point just to this little spot and push it down tight then you turn it over and you bring the point down to the next side and you do it tight, 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 tight again. See? Tight, tight, tight here. Then you turn it over one more time. And you take that little point and bring it to this corner. See? This corner. Bring it right there to this corner. And when you do that, you take an inch of or so of it and you tighten, tighten, tighten. So see when I bring it to the corner, you could see. And here I tighten this. I push it down flat, flat. And then you let it go. And you start opening your box now once you start opening your box that little piece will push itself right in there see it squares out at the bottom there we go it's as easy as that easy peasy and you can make smaller ones than this you could make larger ones than this but for now i did these two sizes they are great to put your seeds in to put in the garden and this go right in the ground in the garden or in your pot if you're doing pot um, gardening this can go right in the pot with the seeds you don't need to take the little plant out you just stick it right in there in the pot that's it i'm gonna show you one more design and then i'm gonna be ready and i want to see you try it at home okay <laughs>